Sagittarius, welcome to your reading for this month of March. I have an intuitive message for you. I have two. Um, one of them is a crappy job or someone at your place of work or if you're self-employed, something regarding your money or your finances or someone always finds a way to like shit all over what you're doing, like everything that you're doing or they find a way to like make your day crappy. Um... The other intuitive message that I have for you is that someone needs to get a life. For some of you, if you work for a place, it could be um, someone that you work for that needs to get a life or someone that you work with that needs to get a life. But I feel like someone here is trying to like shit all over like what you got going on. But like when you look at their life, like they ain't got go much going on themselves. So it's like, how you trying to come at me and you ain't doing nothing with your life? I don't know, but um, that was an intuitive message for you. But welcome to your reading for this month of March, Sag. This is going to be your financial reading. Um... I want to do at least one financial reading for the zodiac signs every month or maybe two i might incorporate that in just because you know uh people want to know about their money but uh we're gonna find out what's your current financial situation what's next in money for you in march uh where will new opportunities for money come from this month it's all going to be this month and what actions to take and grow and expand your money this month um and what's the overall theme of your finances so you don't have to wait six months and then find out that something is actually coming to fruition. Uh, what is the overall theme for uh, Sagittarius's finances for this month of March? We have judication, so it could have had something to do with a court case or a court hearing, making a decision. There's some kind of finality to something, so something may be coming to a close or a decision is finally being made. So remember, what's the overall theme for Sagittarius's finances for this month of March? I'm hearing some of you are taking a vacation as well. Uh, we have mature woman. What's the overall theme for Sagittarius' finances for this month of March? Some of you guys could be dealing with a Virgo. For some of you, a Virgo could be finding out that they're, they're pregnant. This could be someone that you're related to or someone that you know. Judication and mature woman. There's something here about like an older woman controlling your finances or your money. Uh, you may find out that this woman is pregnant or... I don't know. Judication, mature woman. You may be seeking like wise counsel from someone that's much older than you. What is Sagittarius' uh, current financial situation this month of March? What's their current financial situation? We have Thief. Oh, I would hope someone didn't steal from you. Thief. Or are you stealing? What's Thief card for Sagittarius? Uh, what's their current financial situation? What's the Thief card? Thief and courtship. I'm hearing comparison is a thief of joy. For some of you, this is a random side message, but I'm hearing you're, if you're in a relationship right now, or if you're talking to somebody, you're comparing like your life to other people. Like you're comparing like your relationship to other people. For some of you, this is a side message. This is your financial reading, but this is coming out. For some of you, you're comparing where you're at financially to some other people. Like you're comparing where your money's at compared to someone else. Thief and courtship. Comparison is a thief of joy. Um, enjoy where you're at because I feel like something here is stealing your youth away or it's stealing your time or your energy thinking about it. Like you could be enjoying what you have and being present in the moment and making memories with what you have but because you're not present or you don't really um you're thinking about what everybody else got and you're trying to you're thinking that you have to get there or that you should have that by now but i feel like that is taking joy from you and in what you do like you're not happy doing it now because you're not at a million whatever a million dollars yet you're you have you're not you're not at a million in a in a stock whatever or something like that like you know like you're comparing yourself to other people and it's like these people may have like put in a lot more years before you or done something before you where it's like it's not a race but it's like they put in their time already like even if they didn't like i don't know but i feel like comparison is a thief of joy here tell me more about this thief and courtship cards like it seems like you're making your financial situation out to be worse than what it actually is i'm not saying that it's great it may not be great it may be bad but like the monster in our head grows when we leave it in our head or when we keep it there like we keep feeding into it so it seems a lot bigger than what it is like even if a situation is bad it may not be as bad as like you're thinking about it um tell me more about thief and courtship for what is sagittarius's current financial situation it's thief and courtship for sagittarius's current financial situation thief and courtship imprisonment Ooh. Uh, if you've been stealing from your job, I want to say stop because um, you might be reaching like the criminal offense limit or their limit 
they may let you slide a couple times, but they're like keeping track of what you're taking. So be mindful of that. Thief, courtship, and imprisonment. Some of you may be dealing or you may know someone that's already gone to jail for stealing before and they're stealing again. So it's like if you already, like, I don't know, someone here has reached their limit. They're at their wit's end. For some of you, it's a, it's a credit card limit that's restraining you. Just stop spending on your credit card, I feel like, if you can. Um, thief, courtship, and in prison. Uh, for others of you, be mindful. Like, I feel like um, someone's trying to get you caught up in something where, like, you can go to jail or something like that. Like, they're trying to make you steal, entice you to steal so that you can get locked up for it. Or they're going to entice you to say this so that you can get locked up for whatever you say, whatever you do. Like, they're trying to get you up here at a certain place so that they can get you for, like, just being there an accessory. Like, just be mindful. Um, I did get that setting up energy for you. So for it to come up again in your finances, I don't know if this has to do with your money. But thief, courtship, and imprisonment. Uh, what's next in money for Sagittarius? Uh, if this is someone's plot or ploy, someone's trick to get you, you're not going to fall for it because you're too smart is what I'm getting. Like you kind of see right through it. Like you see what someone's trying to do. Um, give me one second, y'all. What is next in money for Sagittarius? For this month of March. I'm trying to get close to the microphone. What is next in money for Sagittarius for the month of March? We have distant horizons. I feel like you guys are planning for a future. Uh, you're planning uh, for the future or you're planning a future trip. It could be a trip that you're taking um, in March that you're planning for. This is this month of March. It could be next year or it could be this March. Uh, what's next in money for... Um, I see you, though, planning for future travel. What's next in money for March for Sag? I feel like you're trying to be really smart with your money because you have plans for something in the future. And I feel like right now you see that something is an anchor holding you down. Like, I'm really focused on this anchor in this card right now. Like, I feel like you see something holding you down or holding you back. So you're trying to plan for a future where... You're secure, but like something isn't holding you down. Like if it's an anchor, it's a positive anchor in your life, as in like an apartment or something that you can pay off. It's not like unresolved debt or something that's putting you further in the hole. It's like you want to make your future more secure or you want to turn negatives into positives. So even if I can't get rid of something that's holding me down, at least it's something positive holding me down, like a mortgage or rent or something like that. Like it's not like debt or student loan or something like that like it's it's resolved or it's something that i can deal with it's something that's a positive influence in my life it doesn't hold me back uh so i feel like yeah i feel like you're having like i feel like you're literally having thoughts about that um but i do see a future trip where you're planning out future travels some more about distant horizons i feel like for some of you regarding money for some reason you're thinking about a future relationship as well um like you're, maybe you're thinking about like Okay, I want to take this trip, but do I want someone to travel with? Or I want to take this trip or someone, or I want to do this, but like, do I want a partner as well while I'm trying to do this? Like, I don't know, I'm seeing like, I'm seeing there's thoughts of like a partner, like doing something like a partner in crime or a romantic partner or something like that, like thinking about it. Like, do you have time for it? Do you want this? Tell me more about Distant Horizons for what's next in money for Sag. I feel like you are very smart though. I'm hearing you're very smart because you're thinking far into the future. You're crossing your T's and dotting your I's. What's, um, what's, tell me more about this. Distant Horizons for what's next in money for Sag for this month of March. Coffin. I don't want to put it here. I'll put it over here. Coffin. Yeah, I just see you planning for your future. That's literally what I hear is planning for your future. I'm trying to get deep into it, but I'm um, planning for your future. I just feel like you're throwing stuff at the wall and seeing what sticks, just kind of throwing ideas out there, seeing what makes the most sense, seeing what you like, and then you get a broader picture of something altogether. Um, where will new opportunities for money come from for Sag? Someone may get you a gift out of nowhere. We have female. If it's, um for some of you, I feel like this is like same sex, like someone, you, you don't have to be gay for this to apply. Or you don't have to like, like say you're a woman, you don't have to like women for this to apply to you. You could be a straight woman or a straight male and then someone of the same gender as you does like you. 
but I feel like um, someone here has taken a liking to you or shown like they like you and they may be getting you something because they like you. Um, main female. I feel like someone's like attracted to you and it's someone of the same sex, same gender. But that's a side message. Uh, tell me more. Where will new opportunities for money come from? For Sag, this month of March. Pathway. God said you're an angel. You guys know that song Angel by Halle, Halle Bailey. Um, main female pathway. Uh, Sagittarius, if you ran, if you get a random opportunity, like I feel like we're saying a random ass opportunity. This is a side note, but it keeps coming out. Like if you get a random ass opportunity from a woman um, or a fem very feminine energy, it's because they're attracted to you. It doesn't matter if you're a woman yourself or if you're a man, like they're very attracted to you and you're getting this opportunity solely based off of their attraction to you. It's not to say that you're not capable, that they don't think you're capable, but it's also because they really like you. Like you get this special, like it's special for you because they really like you. Like some, some of you, someone at your job or someone regarding your money may want to court you or they're giving you special treatment or attention because they're attracted to you, very attracted to you, like deeply. Um, <laughs> But anyways, uh, where will new opportunities mo for money come from for Sagittarius? This month of March. Where will new opportunities for money come from for Sagittarius this month of March? I'm so tired of my own. We have change. Main female pathway and change. Um, someone is going to try to try to mold you into a different career path. Like, uh, let, let's say, okay, let me give you an example. Let's say you're in sales right now, but another department that your job has is like accounting. Someone's going to try to make you do the switch. Like that's just, that's just an example. But as in like, you may be doing one thing right now and then someone entices you with an idea to switch to a completely different department, but it's like within your company It's just, you need to change fields or something like that. So let's say you're in college for, for one thing someone's gonna tell you okay or you like change your major to this so you're still going to the same school but you're studying a whole different field you're still in the same career same thing or same job but you're studying a whole different thing now like it's a whole different whole different like game plan or something like that but i feel like someone here is going to shift the way that you think about something and they're going to put you in a new field it's to see how adaptable you are how how well you change how swiftly you adapt to change but it's definitely a change like, let's say you're a doctor right now, or let's say you take medicine. Someone's going to try to make you do schooling to do anesthesiology. So now you're in charge of, you know, giving people anesthesia or something like that. Like, it's same thing, but like different. It's like expanding your horizons. Like you're going in a different path or a different direction. Um, so that's a new opportunity. Uh, it could come from your job or like what you do for work or if you're self-employed, like you're still, someone's going to entice you with some kind of, I'm getting it's a person, but it could be like an idea that you have, but you play around, like you flirt with the idea of something. So like, let's say you're self-employed, like, but you choose to go a different route. So self-employed through YouTube, instead you want to go self-employed and make clothing or something. So you're still self-employed, but you're doing a different arena of self-employment. Um... So that's where that's where new opportunities will come from for you. What action should Sagittarius show? Oh my God! What action should Sagittarius words take to grow and expand their finances and their money this month? What actions should Sagittarius take to grow and expand their finances this month? Bad health. That's an action to take. Hmm. Bad health. Take care of yourself first, because you can't go anywhere if you're bed like if you're on if you're if you're sick or if you're exhausted, if you're bedridden, bad health. Like the I feel like this is clear, like just take care of yourself. Uh what's bad health for what action should Sash take to grow and expand their finances this month? What's bad health? Bad health, expectation, and unexpected income. Hold on a minute. What action? Sorry, I'm a little tired, y'all. 
Again, the eye is real bad. What is this? What action should Sag take? Should Sag take to grow and expand their finances? Bad health, expectation, unexpected income. It's like you're expecting some kind of bad news, but then like you get a different result or a different outcome, but I don't understand what this means for what action you should take. Bad health, expectation, unexpected income for what actions that Shad should Sag take. <laughs> Bad health, expectation, unexpected income. Give me a minute. Let me sit with this for a minute. What action should Sag take? Bad health, expectation, unexpected income. It's like you're expecting something bad to come from it, but only good can come from it. So I feel like this is something that you're already doing. Like, just keep doing it. Keep going. For some of you, if this is just going to work, keep going to work. Or I don't know if you think they're going to fire you. Keep going to work. Keep showing up. Or if this is a business, keep keep at it, like keep doing it. If this is social media, keep posting, like keep doing something. It's like you're expecting like bad things from to come from it, but only good is gonna come from it. Like it's actually like a good thing. Like you, I don't know if you think something's gonna make you sick, it's gonna make you worse, or it's not gonna help you. But I feel like it's only gonna help you. Like the, that's 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 the only thing it's gonna do is help you, which is what you want. Um, you're expecting the worst of something, but it's going to do you good. So keep doing it. Keep investing in it. Like you're giving more to yourself later on by doing this now. So keep doing it. I feel like um, I'm also paying attention to the fact that with this card, the, the hand that's giving the coin is in a suit and it has a ring on its finger. It's, its fingernails are clean and freshly manicured. And then the hand that's reaching out for the money is dirty the nails are dirty they're not manicured um it looks rough it looks like a beggar and then they're wearing like shabby clothes i don't know that was an observation that i had like for a second i look at the hand. i'm like that looks so creepy and i look closer i'm like it's not the same hand like one person is giving uh something else some of you guys could be dealing with a taurus because i'm getting the energy of like one man's loss is another man's gain that was the title of taurus's reading but um yeah let me sit with this card for a minute unexpected income for sag yeah, it's like you're expecting the worst out of something, but only good can come from it because it's giving you something. Um, hmm, okay, but that's all I have for you, Sag. I hope this reading helped you in some way. I hope it resonated, and I will see you in your next reading. Bye, guys.